Well, one of the two emergency homeless shelters in Jamestown, New York, has officially closed its doors, and the other is expected to follow suit as these temperatures rise and the need for code blue safeguards are no longer apparent. Justin Gold with our news partner, WNY News Now, reports on what's next for the city's plan to help those in need. The shelter at Joy Fellowship Methodist Church closed their doors almost a month ago. While the temporary space only held eight beds, it did see a lot of foot traffic. And they hosted a total of 64 different guests, so 64 different individuals, wow. uh, with an average number of encounters per guest being six. So wow. of those 64 people, on average, they stayed at that shelter six times with the highest number of encounters for one individual being 24 times. Meanwhile, the Mental Health Association's shelter, which opened late in the winter season following a construction delay, is still operational. When we submitted the applications and did an, a budget amendment to DSS's mm -hmm. um, Code Blue application, um, we accounted for them to be able to be open until the end of April and possibly even a couple of weeks into May. Okay. And so that was approved. Mm -hmm. So they can continue to serve until that budget is expended. Sure. Before the shelters were in place, people in need of emergency housing were sent to local hotels and motels for the night. At the shelters, individuals can receive services that were otherwise unavailable. In fact, some of the homeless are giving back themselves, now volunteering. It yeah, puts them in a place that is safe right. and that is supervised right. and has built in support whereas right. you send people to a hotel or motel they don't have any of that. No. Both locations plan to reopen next fall if funding returns. Both shelters are uh, interested in continuing with Code Blue efforts in the coming year um, so that's a, a great thing um, I think you know there was a lot of effort that went into getting both facilities up and ready uh, the need is certainly there. Uh, we anticipate it will continue to be there. Justin Gould, WNY News Now. And local leaders in Jamestown hope this year's high demand for the shelters will secure funding for next fall's operation.